10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Ignition and lift off. Vehicle's pitching down range. M1D performance is nominal. Successful liftoff for Falcon 9 from pad 39A Power and telemetry, nominal. at Kennedy Space Center. There we just heard that power and telemetry is nominal. Moments ago, we began to throttle the nine Merlin engines that you Not see. They're propelling the first stage through the atmosphere. We began to throttle them down in preparation for max Q also known as the... XQ. All right, there we are, the call out. The vehicle just went through the moment in which it experiences the greatest aerodynamic pressure. In about a minute, we're gonna have three events happening back to back. First will be main engine cutoff for Miko, where all nine M1D engines will shut down and slow the vehicle in preparation for event number two, stage separation. As the name indicates, this is where the first and second stages MVAC will separate. Has begun. Uh, there we heard the call for MVAC engine chill, indicating that the second stage is preparing for that stage sep and ignition of MVAC. After stage separation, uh, stage one will start to make its way back to Earth for its landing on our drone ship, and stage two will continue its journey with, along with the third event, uh, SCS-1, or second engine start one, where MVAC will ignite and begin to propel the second stage along with the Starlink satellites to orbit. Expecting Miko in about 10 seconds. Miko. Stage separation confirmed. All right, on your screen there, we have visual confirmation of MVAC those three events. Started. MVAC is now ignited and beginning to develop that warm orange glow. The next event we have coming up is fairing deployment. Fairing separation confirmed. There on your screen, we now see those 60 Starlink satellites. Those fairings will make their way back to Earth as well. Like I mentioned before, uh, we won't be able to bring live coverage of the recovery attempt for those fairings as they'll be happening after we close our webcast.